So today we're going to be creating a spring floral pattern inside of Adobe Illustrator. So I'm going to go over here and do new file. It's set up to do pixels. That is perfectly fine. Um, it doesn't give us an exact uh, amount there, so that's fine. I'll just do create. And then first we're going to create the petals and then the stamens. Um, so I'm going to do an ellipsy tool. Get rid of my stroke. It's going to be 113, 20, and 113. And then we're going to get our direct selection tool. Um, actually, we're going to get the convert anchor tool. Click on that one. So that creates that. And then I'm going to get the direct selection tool. And you click, hold on your shift key, click. And then you can go up. That's going to create that petal. Make it a little bit bigger there. There we go. And then we're going to create the bud. So I'm going to copy and paste. And then I paste again. And on this one, I'm going to change my fill color to 101, three, and 96. Okay, so I accidentally cut these, so give me just a second. Let's see. I can use my eye, my eyedropper tool to match that. That happens sometimes, guys. Um, so it wants two of the darker. So I'm going to copy paste that, do a range, bring to front to make sure that was in the front. Um, and then I'm going to rotate these so that they come together. There we go. That has the basic idea of what we're going for. Now we're going to do the stamens, um, the ellipsy tool. The coloring on that one's going to be 253, 185, and 19. And then a long vertical rectangle. I'm going to group them by selecting it, right clicking and doing group. And then I'm going to paste. There we go. So that we have four. Um, if I want to make sure I have two of the same size for the smaller one, I can do that too. There we go. And then we're going to put all these together. So I'm going to select all these, make them tiny. See right now they're on top. So I'm going to do arrange, send it back. And 
and then basically arrange them here. I can use my arrow key to help me out with that too. And then they want us to duplicate the petals and then send them to the back. So we're going to take all three of these, copy paste. Right now it's a question mark. I can double click on that and I've got to change it to 73, three and 73. And then I'm going to do arrange, send it back, so that it's back here. I'll pull it up just a little bit so that we can see it. And that's going to create that. There's just a little more curvy than mine, and that's perfectly fine. And then we're going to create the stem and the leaves part two. I'm going to get my rectangle tool. And then this is going to be the first time you've done a gradient. Okay. Um, we're going to fill it in with two colored linear gradient. So here is how this goes. So let's see. So if you So we click on it and then I click over here and see it changed it to two different colors. And right now it's trying to go side to side. So hold on. There we go. So I flip that. And so now we have this top to bottom. So now I can change my colors. And the first color is going to be one on one. Three and ninety six. And then this is um, giving specifically to be able to do the gradient slider location um, that refers to this over here. So it's saying to have about twenty percent up there, like that, and then this color we're going to do 141 139 and zero okay so it looks like that and then i'm going to do a range send it back that is how you do the stem there. I'm gonna make that just a little bit longer. There we go. And then we're going to create some leaves. So we're going to get our ellipses tool and then draw three different oval lengths. So right now that's still in the gradient. Um, and so our fill color for this one is going to be 163, 165, 16. Okay. And then I'm going to go to effect, warp, arc, vertical. And then the bend on that one is going to be negative 30. And then the vertical distortion on that is going to be negative 15. Okay. Um, 
And that still looks kind of fat, so hold on. Let's see. Let's try it again. Effect, warp, arc. Let's see, negative 30. Zero, vertical. Negative 15, yeah, that's what it says. So then in the next one, it's going to be effect, warp, arc, and then going to do the bend at 30, vertical, 0, negative 15. That goes the opposite way. And then the third one, let's see, effect, warp, arc. And this bin's going to be 60. And let's see. Okay. So we got to make sure that we do all three of these object expand appearance. Um, Mine are just not as skinny, but it's just because of how I drew my oval. See, if I do that, it's a little bit skinnier. So it all really comes down to how you draw the oval. So if I do a skinnier oval, then it's there we go. A little bit skinnier there. I kind of like those a little bit more. And see, I, before I go to expand the appearance, if I do that. I can make them smaller. Okay. And then I'm going to go and get these set up. They should be a little bit lower. There they go. I'm trying to hide the stem in there. Okay, so we'll just kind of leave it like that. Mine's, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then 
we're going to create a different flower now. Um, we're going to take the entire flower that we created and duplicate it. Notice this one has three. This one only has two. Okay. So they want us to copy paste. I'm going to go ahead and group all this so that it stays together. Right click group. And then I'm going to get rid of that one. So just to make a few changes, um, we're going to get the lightest petal here, and we're going to change that to 87, 2, 89, and then the... And then the other two petals, we're going to do 73, 3, 73. And then the three darkest ones, which I'm getting to by holding down my shift key to make sure I can get all of them. So all of our ones there in the back are going to be 50, 2, 51. Okay. And then I pasted that again, and we're going to do a yellow flower. Okay, on that one. This one we're going to do, do a little bit more changes on, okay? I'm going to start off with the gradient here. Let's see. Or, let's see the lightest petal. That one's going to be 255. 242 and three. Hold on my shift key, get these two. And that one's going to be 244, 226, and six. And then I'm going to hold on my shift key to get those ones back there in the back. And that one's going to be 232, 210, and 5. And then the stem. Um, I'm going to select my gradient tool. And that one's going to be um, 244, 123, let's see. Or sorry, that's for the statements. I'm doing the wrong color there. Let's see. So for the gradient slider, that was going to be 224, uh, 197, and 3. And then for my statements here, the hold on my shift key. Let's 
And those I'm going to do Two forty four, one twenty three, and thirty two. Okay. And then they want to add a curvature to the flowers, so group every flower. It says to select the first flower and go to, so we're going to do this one, and do effect, warp, arc. Let's see how mine arcs there. Um, do vertical. The bends can be negative 20. Horizontal distortions to zero. And then this one's going to be at a negative 25. The second flower, we're going to do the effect, warp, arc, vertical, bend's going to be 20, zero, this one's going to be 20. And then this one, again, it's effect, warp, arc, the bend's going to be, hold on y'all. I just want to check one thing. On this one, effect warp arc. Okay, if that's the bin on this one's 20, not negative 20. I did that wrong. There you go. 20, 0, negative 20. Okay, cool. And then the third one. And they're using, they went backwards from what I'm doing, but as long as you have different bins in your flower guides, it's fine. Like I'm not gonna look on each flower and make sure you have bins. Um, but this one's going to be 30. Zero and negative 30. Okay. And I did expand all of those appearances. And then we're going to create our background. And that is by doing a rectangle with the color 247, 247, 247 and 241. And then I'm going to right click arrange, send back. Okay, so then now we're going to place the flower scattered randomly all over the square that we've created, okay? So, this may help to, on my layers, this rectangle lock it so I don't mess with it. And then I'm going to Try to keep them all the same size, so I'm going to size them down together. Copy, paste. And you'll see what I'm doing here in a second with these. So I'm pasting to make sure I have the same amount of everything. And then I'm just going to start moving these around. 
and you do not have to map to this. You just start moving things. Oh, and it looks like one of my flowers did not get grouped all the way. So hold on. Do, do, do. Okay, so on those, group them. Looks like only three stems ended up with that one, which is fine. Um, one just got messed up there. It's fine. That happens. Okay. I'm just gonna try this again. I'm gonna have, I gotta fix a flower. So what happened here is that my stem got messed up. There. Just making sure all of that's grouped up again before I do anything. Okay. So now I'm just moving things around. So now that I have what I want there, now to do a seamless pattern, we're going to go to the selection tool and select all of the flowers, but without the background. We're going to group them together, okay? So now we're going to select everything. Right click, group. You see something like the image below, but you want to kind of clean it up. Let's see if I make this a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay. So if I take a rectangle, I go across here, and then I switch that over and select everything other than the background. I'm going to do make clipping mask and ta -da. So now we have a pattern. There you go. Okay, guys, that is done. I'm going to delete this is a bunch of extra stuff I'm deleting.